Did I get it? Yeah, I think you got it. Good. What the hell? Who does that? It was a bee. What, are you allergic to bees too? No, but getting stung hurts a lot. Yeah, you know what else hurts? Car crashes. Those kind of hurt too, you psycho. It's not that big of a deal. Chill. When the getaway driver enters into a suicide pact with a bee and crashes our car, I think that's a big deal. I think I liked you better unconscious. I liked you better. No, I don't even like you right now. I hate this car! You picked it. It had the keys in it, the engine was running, it's ugly so no one will miss it, and you said you could drive anything. Because I can. To break it? Nothing that'll stop us, just knocked a few things loose. So you can fix it fast? If you leave me alone, sure. The cop's probably coming. I want to help. What's this for? Yeah, you know how it works when the espresso machine steams it's hot? Ow! Holy frick! Same principle here. Steaming things are hot. I just wanted to help. Look, if you want to help, go check the trunk. I need tools. There's a man in our trunk! What? There's a man. He's in our trunk. Is he alive? Mm. Great, now we're kidnappers. Mm. Well, this day hasn't been as easy as we thought it would be. As you said. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why are you in our car? I was here first. I stole it. It's mine now. It's yours, then why are you in the trunk? I'm hazy on that, actually. One minute I'm filling up my nice new car, and then someone taps me on the shoulder. I turn around and Bill Clinton punched me in the face. Bill Clinton? He was wearing a mask. Wait, Bill Clinton was wearing a mask when he punched you? Or someone was wearing a Bill Clinton mask? Yes? You can't answer that question with a yes. Could you roll over a little bit? I uh. need a screwdriver. Wait, let me out. Why? There's nothing to see. Nowhere to go. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about keeping him locked in the trunk. It's just for a little bit. We'll let him out when we get to a gas station or what something. If tells on us. Tells on us? Are you four? Shut up. You know what I mean. He's a stoner who stole a car. The cops aren't exactly on his top eight friends list. I guess you're right. Yeah, I know. Hey, what's on your dress? <laughs> this is my favorite dress. Why would you wear it robbing a dingy convenience store? I wanted to look nice. Ah, peanut butter? How? Oh, this drink's hot. You should have stolen one of those new cars with the fancy escape lever. Shut up! Your lunch ruined my dress. I hate you. It wasn't my lunch. I didn't have lunch. I'm hungry. Well, here, have your sandwich. It wasn't mine. It must have been Bill's. You done yet? Almost. I've just got to put the battery back in and hook it up. You need to get it finished now. There's a car coming. Almost done. Just got to... <coughs> what happened? I think I got battery acid in my mouth. <coughs> How's that even possible? <coughs> oh, it burns. It burns. I think I swallowed S some. Seriously, that doesn't <coughs> even make sense. I know, but it hurts. Well, stop panicking. We'll get this car to help us. Just calm down. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. April, calm down. I can't calm down. I swallowed battery acid. I'm going to die. I'll take care of this. Ow! I'm sorry.
Hey, can you help us? Sure, no problem. She's trying to fix her car and got battery acid in her mouth. Hey, what are you doing? I'm calling 911 for your friend. Won't that take too long? Can't you just drive us? No, nah, they can have a helicopter out here in minutes. How long is she? It'll be so easy. about this, but it was your idea. her uh, present condition. She's stable. Oh, frick. You punched me. You were freaking out. I didn't know what to do. You punched me. Look, I've been in two car accidents. I've been punched out. The cops are after me, and I'm wandering around in a hospital gown. Which is all right, because Bill Clinton stained my favorite dress. It's been a long day. I know. Let's get out of here. I mean, can you run? Hands off! No more! Punched a good Samaritan, stole his car, and then drove you here. And ironically, the guy in the trunk punched me and stole our car. And I got hit by another car. Where's our money? The guy in the trunk got it when he stole the car. Wow. Today kind of sucked. We're out of cars. We're kind of out of time, too. Why would you do that? 
It was locked. No, I unlocked it. Forget it. Get in the car and get out of sight. Get the car started. How did you learn how to do that? I learned this trick while I was doing time. You served time in jail? Well, Juvie. Oh, hold on. You talking into robbing a convenience store based off the things you learned in Juvie? Wasn't this more exciting than sitting around and getting hit on by old men? Hi, what can I get for you today? How about you, baby? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe a little. See, crime can be fun. It might not always pay, but it can be fun. But really, the lesson we're supposed to walk away from this with crime is fun? And buckle up. Safety first. Ten thirty nine, ten thirty nine. We have two female Caucasians, early twenties, just left in a Kia Silver. If we go too slow, we gladly pay the fine. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. In an Astro van, that's brown and. Ah, 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 ah,